We're going to look at Kepler's first law. Uh, Johannes Kepler developed his laws of planetary motion based on observations of the position of Mars and using the idea that everything orbits the Sun. His first plan was to figure out the shapes of the orbits. And up to this point, everyone had thought in terms of perfect circles. Um, the ancient Greeks thought perfect circles were uh, used for everything orbiting Earth, and then when Copernicus uh, changed the system to everything orbiting the Sun, he kept perfect circles. And Kepler was inclined to continue to think it was perfect circles. Uh, his first surprise when he tried to fit a circle to the orbits of the planets, it did not fit. And what he found was that the orbits of the planets are instead elliptical. And instead of the Sun being at the center of the orbit, the Sun is at one focus. And in the pictures you see below, uh, it shows a range of shapes for ellipses. And the little e is called eccentricity. And that tells you how flattened an ellipse is. And notice that a circle has an eccentricity of zero. And that is the one case where the focus is at the center and there is only one focus, which is represented by the black dot in the middle. If you look at the other images, you see two black dots, and those two are the two foci, which is plural of focus. So the sun would be at one of those foci. Notice that uh, the more stretched out the ellipse is, the further apart those little black dots get as well. Also notice, usually when you see drawings in textbooks of orbits of planets around the Sun, the ellipse is shown fairly elongated, somewhere around the 0.5 or 0.7 types of illustrations. If you actually look at the eccentricities of the orbits of planets, they range from uh, let's see, 0 0.0068 to a high, that was for, for Venus, by the way, 0 0.2056 for Mercury. So the orbits of the planets have eccentricities that are very small. Um, most of them very close to zero, which would mean that the orbits look very, very close to a circle. And even the 0 0.2, which is pretty close to the 0 0.3, it's hard to visually distinguish that from an actual circle. So the orbits of the planets, although not perfectly circular, are a lot closer to looking like circles than they are to looking like the elongated ellipses that you often see illustrated in a textbook. And that's important because when we talk about the seasons and our distance from the Sun, with our orbit it being very close to being a circle, the distance doesn't really change much. And so there are other factors at play. And it's also important because it tells a lot about the integrity of Kepler that despite wanting them to be circles and certainly getting pictures that looked a lot like a circle, he knew that in fact the orbits were elliptical.